In this video, we are going to accomplish several tasks in Manager I.O. We will add new tabs to the left hand sidebar. We will set up suppliers and briefly discuss purchase invoices, goods receipts, purchase orders, and inventory. Next, we will make a purchase using the payments feature, selecting suppliers, and assigning the appropriate expense account. Finally, we will explore one method for storing receipts digitally, attaching them to the payment. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to go and we want to set up suppliers, but we need to get a tab first put over here. So we're going to go to customize. We're going to scroll down and we're going to find suppliers. And before I update this, while we're here, I want to just quickly talk about uh, purchase orders, purchase invoices, and goods receipts. Purchase orders in Manager I.O. is a document sent to suppliers to formally order goods or services. It acts as a formal record of your intent to purchase, outlined in details like items, quantities, agreed prices, and delivery terms. In Manager.io, purchase orders themselves do not directly impact your inventory quantities or financial accounts. They are considered non-posting transactions. This means that simply creating a purchase order in Manager.io doesn't automatically add items to your inventory on hand or affect your financial statements. Purchase invoices. Purchase invoices play a key role in inventory tracking and management, especially for businesses dealing with physical goods. Purchase invoices are used to record bills received from suppliers for goods or services purchased by your business. They represent the money you owe to your suppliers and are crucial for tracking expenses and managing accounts payable. Goods Receipts The Goods Receipts tab helps businesses track the arrival of purchased goods from suppliers. This feature supports inventory management by allowing you to record goods when they arrive rather than waiting for the supplier's invoice. In the future we will do some videos about that but I just wanted to give you a quick overview of that just in case you're needing to go explore something further along those lines. So we're going to click update here to get our suppliers tab. And you notice now we have a suppliers tab. So let's click on that and let's add a new supplier. And for this one, we're just going to add Walmart. And you can put a code there if you want. Not necessary. I'm going to create. All right. Now, let's make a, uh, let's go purchase something from Walmart. You need this payments tab here. If you don't have that, go up here under bank and cash accounts, add your payments tab. If you watched previous videos, you would have already done that. Click the back button. So we're going to go to payments. And we're going to create a new payment. And we're going to pay from Sally's Visa. And under payee, we're going to drop down a supplier. And you could type in the first letter, like a W, but I didn't need to. It's the only supplier there. And description, we're going to say office supplies. And the account where it says suspense, we're going to come and find the office supplies account. And we're going to say it's $50. And we're going to create. Okay, we see our payment here. And now, if we go to our dashboard, clicking on the summary tab, we can see that expense in the expense column. We can click on that and see what that was all about. There is one other thing I want to show you. You could go and look at the history of your payments. You notice you have one listed here and that number obviously will increase as you uh, buy more stuff. So we're going to click on payments and you can look and if you made any mistakes you can go here and you can edit that there. So we're just going to click the back button here and under bank of cash accounts you can look at Sally's uh, Visa and you'll notice we have a hundred dollars purchased here and here you see that we made a fifty dollar purchase on uh, office supplies for Walmart from Walmart and of course you can make an edit there as well either under payments or under bank of cash accounts so 
So I'm going to show you one method of keeping up with receipts. You can actually do that within Manager I.O. If you want to store digital receipts, take pictures of your receipts, or using this snipping tool that's built into Microsoft, this little tool right here, and just doing a screen grab. Uh, but anyhow, you can see this is going to be what we're going to do. And I'm going to show you how to do that. This isn't the only method. You may not even think this is the best method. This is the method I use though. So I'm going to go ahead and click on choose file. I have a pre-made receipt here. I'm going to go to my documents fo folder. And we're going to go to Sally's Florist. And I created under Sally's Florist. I created a receipts folder. And then I created it by the year. And then I am created folders based on my expense account list. So here we have office supplies. And there's my receipt. Notice the way I named my receipt. Put the month, day, and year, the store, who I purchased from, and what it is, office supplies. Just so you could do, I put that there so you can have search functionality. Just you know, having, you need to search for and look for some things sometimes. This is a good way to do it. But anyhow, let me open this receipt real quick just show it to you. There it is, my Walmart fake receipt. And it's this receipt we want to attach here. And there we go. We have this receipt now with us, stored in Manager I.O., backed up in the uh, Sally's uh, folders that I had, receipts folder. It's also backed up there, but I believe Manager I.O. actually stores it in their system. Uh, when you add the attachment, it's just a good way to keep your receipts organized. It's extra work, obviously, uh, if you'd rather throw your receipts in a grocery bag and pay your accountant at the end of the year, you know, extra $500,000 to sort through your receipts. Well, that's obviously your choice. But we're learning accounting. We want to do it right. We want to get it set up right. So you may have another method, another way of doing that. And if you do, if you have any suggestions, how about leaving it in the comments below? So, we have covered everything I said we were going to cover. And if this has helped you, how about leaving a like? Subscribe. Leave a comment below. You will help my channel, and my channel can use all the help it can get. So, I'm just going to thank you in advance, because this doesn't cost you anything to help me like that. And, you have a good day.